So why are some clincher press the valves threaded? What's this nut doing here? Maybe we can explain how this all came about. In the old days, valve lengths were very short, and it's possible with a deeper rim, we can see the valve actually disappear into the rim itself and get lost. So what the manufacturers did was to thread the stem, make a bolt or nut that goes on the end that you can turn, will pull the stem towards the opening in the rim, pull it out far enough so you can pump it. But as manufacturers recognized this problem, they began to make stem lengths according to your needs. Well, this made the threading and the need for the nut obsolete. We're going to address two things that may help you in selecting clincher tubes. That is, what length should I get for the stem? And before you throw away that nut, is it helpful to retain that for certain purposes? And if we do use that nut, how do we keep it from rattling? on the wheel as we bike. In order to get an estimate of stem length, we'd like to know the distance from the inside of the rim, where the rim tape is, to the where the valve protrudes through the rim, plus some extra to allow for us to apply the pump chuck. Here's my quick method for getting such an estimate that'll work on most, uh, even some arrow rims. However, the very deep arrow rims we'll address in another video. Our first measurement is from the valve hole on the interior to the edge of the rim, which in this case is 32 millimeters, which I know it's a little bit longer than what we might measure for the valve hole, but it gets, we rather err on the side of being a little bit too long than too short, and that's why we take the measurement to the edge of the rim. Next, we'd like to know how much of the stem needs to be exposed to attach our chuck of our pump. So we'll take the pump, we'll place it on the end, we'll mark it with our fingernail, remove the pump, and we'll get an estimate measure this and it's just about I would say about 18 millimeters. If we add our two measurements together 32 millimeters 18 millimeters we come out with 50 millimeters as our minimum stem length. So the one at 36 42 is going to be too short we'll go with the 60 millimeter length. Some may ask well why not always use the longer one the 60 millimeter. My own feeling is that having one closer to the actual length needed puts a little less stress on the base of the stem when we're engaging and disengaging or taking off the chuck of the pump. That's my personal feeling. Well if you have the right size stem you really don't doesn't make a difference whether it's threaded or smooth and you don't need that nut you can toss it away. Well, that's true. However, some of us like to keep that nut on there with certain precautions, which I'll show you. That allows the stem to be a little more stable when we're putting the chuck on and off when pumping the tire. What are those precautions? Well, if we just added the nut, if we happen to make it a little bit too tight, it's going to pull on the rubber surrounding the valve itself and cause damage. So you don't want to make this tight. You want to have it just finger firm, but definitely not tight, that'll hold the stem in place. What I like to do is borrow from my tubeless experience, take this off. And I got a variety pack of O-rings from Amazon for a few dollars. 
and one of the small o-rings the rubber fits perfectly over the valve stem I can move it all the way down and then add back the nut and just make it barely finger tight the o-ring helps me for a couple of reasons one it'll keep the noise down if this loosens up a little bit it's not going to rattle this nut will not rattle against the rim and also allow me a little wiggle room to turn this and not over tighten it with the nut in place again it just adds a little bit more stability when I install the chuck pump the tire and then remove it remember not to make this too tight just barely finger tight after you pump it but again that's a personal choice if you have any questions additions please comment below subscribe to keep up with our latest videos this is Tony of Tony 10 speed safe cycling